Okay, we've been faced with another GED typical slope application problem. Let's take a look here. It says a certain taxi company charges $19 for an eight mile ride and $33 for a 15 mile ride. If their rates were plotted on a graph, what would be the slope of the resultant line? Okay. So could you bust out a graph and then plot it and then count for slope? You absolutely could, but there's a faster way to do this problem if you recognize that these right here are points. See these related uh, values? We uh, pay $19 when we go for an eight mile ride and $33 when we go for a 15 mile ride. Now, those are two points right there, and if you can recognize that, then you can use the slope formula to solve a problem like this. However, here's the problem with most students. I'm going to tell you where most students go wrong, so let me do it in red. It's red for wrong. Most students just make the point in whatever order they've been given. They go, oh, $19 for an eight-mile ride is the first point, and $33 for a 15-mile ride is the second point. But this would be an incorrect way to organize your information. And the reason why is because, remember, that your x variable, your first one, is supposed to be your independent variable. And your y value, the second one, is supposed to be your dependent variable, the one that depends on the other. So if you think about this, if you talk about $19 for an 8-mile ride, okay, the cost of the ride depends on how far you go. The cost of the ride, the cost of the ride depends on how far you go. Okay, and so, you know, it's going to change. The cost of the ride changes based on how far you travel. And so that means that that eight miles is the independent variable. Instead of having the point 198, I actually have the point 819. When you input in an eight mile ride, you get out a bill of $19. That $19 depends on how far you went. And same thing here. If I'm doing $33 for a 15 mile ride, when I go 15 miles, it will cost me $33. So once I have those in the proper order, I'm going to be able to plug them into the slope formula. Now the great news is you do not need to memorize the slope formula. It is on your GED formula sheet. And what it says is this, m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Now don't be intimidated by the way this formula looks. It actually looks harder than it is. It's a really simple formula. y2 means the second y. Y1 means the first Y. These little subscripts down here are not math operations. They simply mean um, the ordinal numbers, like first, second, third, fourth. Okay, so I think I'm going to call this one point two, and this one point one. And if you remember, in a point, the first value is your X, and your second is your Y. So that'll make this X1 and Y1. And here, this will make this the second X and this the second y. And now we are able to plug in this into this formula. Take the second y, well there's my second y, 33, and subtract the first y. Well my first y was 19. And I'm going to put that whole thing over, that whole thing over the second x, and my second x was 15. Minus, because the formula says minus, my first x, and my first x was 8. Now, I'm just going to simplify this using the order of operations. Remember, the first step of the order of operations is G for groupings, groupings. And so there might not be any parentheses here, but there sure are some groupings. A fraction bar naturally breaks us into a grouping of top and bottom, or numerator and denominator. But either way, there's still groupings. So I'm going to do the math up top first. 33 minus, 19, whoa, 33 minus 19 is 14. And I'm going to do the math on the bottom. 15 minus 8 is 7. And now that I dealt with my groupings, I will do this last operation. Remember, a fraction bar means division. 14 divided by 7 is 2. And so what I just figured out is that we have a slope of 2. Or if you think about it, what did I have on top? I had my dollars. 
So this is two dollars per, well, what did I have on the bottom? These were my miles, 15 miles minus eight miles. So it's two dollars per mile. The The slope is um, the rate that the they charge you per mile, two dollars per mile.